And he's back! So remember the nursery rhyme, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Boy, what a lie that was. Turns out, you're better off smelling 30 of your brother's underwears than using a single swear word. In other words, I'll take my chances with the sticks and stones. <laughs> do it. Just do it already. <laughs> hey, can I get some peanut butter on this? Now the question is, what makes a word get its swear word certificate? Well, it's quite simple. Society is what makes a swear word a swear word. Basically, as society grows and moves forward, it decides which words are connected to negative or unpleasant things. For example, the F word originated in the 1600s relating to the Swedish, German, and Dutch words to strike or to move back and forth. And I'm not going to go any further because you have a sick mind and you know exactly where this is going. Or like the words, Hi, I'm gay used to mean, hi, I'm really happy. Nowadays, hi, I'm gay, get you shot in Lebanon. Gay, huh? Show me gay. Show me gay. Show me. Sh show gay. Sh show me gay. I don't see gay. Again, point is, we make words and we decide which ones are bad. So before we talk about how swear words can affect us and our brain, we need to know why we use them in the first place. Ever stop to wonder why people have to specifically use swear words to get their point across? Because they accurately help us explain how we feel. Subconsciously without thinking, us as human beings or any other creature love to express how we feel inside. Whether we're excited, angry, in pain, or in regret. For example, what shows more excitement? This? We're gonna have a baby. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna be a father. Or... We're gonna have a baby. Blow your head, I'm gonna be a father. And it's been scientifically proven that swearing helps to reduce pain. If no give pain, what do you mean no give pain? That sounds so freaking... <laughs> My And that mother... That... Wow, he's right. It does make it feel better. So why shouldn't we use them, you ask? Well, number one, it leads to negativity. There's something called the amygdala, which is the part of the brain that is built for emotions and memory. So every time you cuss or use a bad word, it relates it to negative emotions like anger, depression, and anxiety. So in other words, somebody who swears a lot is more likely to have a short temper and experience less joy in his or her life. Maybe that's why they call it the F-bomb. It's like the guy that hurts himself first before anybody else. Like a suicidal bomber. But a swearicidal bomber. And number two, it lowers your dignity. Everything you say defines who you are. So in other words, words make you. So can you imagine going to meet your future parents-in-laws or possible parents-in-laws and having to convince them what a respectful, well-mannered, high-class person you are going to be as a husband or a wife and you start popping out with swear words left and right, up and down, side to side because you trained your tongue to use them all the time? <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. That's definitely gonna hurt your resume. Number three, they destroy your rights. Ever got into a heated argument with someone and realized that the argument got way worse after a swear word was used? Well, look at it this way. As soon as you use a swear word in an argument, it's like all the rights you had in the courtroom have been lost and whatever chance you had to winning the argument has also been lost. In the beginning, she was arguing about how you never make time for her. Now, she's arguing about how rude, inconsiderate, and insensitive you are. Game over, buddy. Or as Judge Judy would say, Case dismissed. But you wanna know what's the absolute worst way to use swear words? To talk behind someone's back. Oh yes. A cup of F her and a dash of what a be will even make the devil himself start taking notes. When you insult someone in their face, the worst that's going to happen is that you're going to upset them in their face and they might eventually stop you in your tracks. When you backbite with a friend, forget about the humiliation that you're already causing. 
If that friend doesn't have the courage to stop you in your tracks, you're just going to keep going on and on and on. And the longer you go on swearing, well, the more negative emotions are going to build up in your brain. And it's quite simple. Negative words or swear words equals negative thoughts. Negative thoughts equals negative emotions. Negative emotions equals anger, hate, depression, anxiety, and envy. Bet you nobody has explained that one before. So the solution you ask? Very simple. Think before you speak and learn to use substitutions. What's the fatusha substitution? Exactly. And for the people that are judgment day conscious, and I'm saying, if you are, don't forget that every single word that comes out of your mouth is being recorded. So don't wait to find out that you have a book with a full chapter on every single F-bomb you've ever dropped. And if you thought that the movie It was scary, <laughs> Believe me, that's way scarier. My name is Hedar, and remember, don't be a swearicidal bomber. <laughs> he said swearicidal bomber again. <laughs> Laugh! It was funny! I blow!